Nightmare Ariola, and you're watching Mission Boxing today on YouTube. Anyway, boxing fans, what's the deal? All right, man, so I'm going to go over some of the keys to victory, in my opinion, for this David Hay versus Tony Bellew fight. Um, so I'm going to start with uh, Tony Bellew, okay? Um, I think the first thing he needs to do is take advantage of David Hay when he carries his left hand low. We know David Hay, he likes to get in this posture right here where he's dangling his left hand really low. He does have fast hands. He can't throw quick combinations. But that is something if I'm training Tony Bellew, I'm looking at. I'm trying to take advantage of him with his hands like this. Fighting low like this. We know David Hay likes to fight. Oh, he likes to come in with... He likes to throw those type of combinations, all right? When Bellew sees this, he at least has to jab. At least jab. Get get David Hayes' hand to at least be to be up here and make him respect your right hand. Jab, jab, try, and try to come in with right hands. Try to take advantage of David Hay carrying a low left hand. Try to throw right hands over that left hand, catch him. Um, even if you don't hit him in the face, at least hit him on the shoulder. Or at least just bring the punch. Shoulder in the chest. Take advantage of that low left hand. Let him know that if he carries that left hand low, you are going to come with a right hand and try to, um, you know, hit him in his face or hit him in some type of target. Take advantage of that low left hand. The second thing I think Tony Bell you should do is take his, uh, go to David Hayes' body. All right? I don't think David Hayes is going to be hard to find in this fight. I know David Hayes, when he fought guys like Valuev, Klitschko, those are much bigger heavyweights than him. All right? So he's moving around, trying to use his quickness and speed in a fight like that. Okay? His fights with Domore, and the fight he had with Jared John, although they're bigger guys, David Hay didn't fear them like that. He knew that he was the heavier puncher in there, even with bigger guys like that, but he knew that he was the heavier puncher, okay? So you have to go to his body, slow David Hay's legs down. David Hay, I haven't seen him be um, agile like he was in the Chisora fight, which was years ago, but David Hay, you know, he says he's in great, he looks like he's still in great shape, you know what I mean? So I wouldn't bank on that he's slower because uh, you know he he because he was quicker five years ago. He may be just as quick. We don't know. I guess we'll see on fight night. But definitely go to his body. When Tony Bellew is in close, dig to the body. Dig to the body. Place hard body shots. I've seen Tony Bellew place good body shots in his fights before. So at least place shots. Um, try to go to his body. Even when you're on the outside and you're using jabs, try to jab to to the body. Try to step in and jab hard to to the body. Bring right hands behind it, all right? That's what I think he can do is go to his body. Ones and twos. I believe Bellew should throw punches in ones and twos. I don't think he wants to get caught up in a slugfest where he's in there trying to, you know, throw combinations. I don't think he can run those type of combinations against David Hay. Unless he has Hay hurt, then he can run those type of combinations. But rather than that, you know, we know how Bellew fights. Just throw ones and twos. Bam. Bam, bam, bam. Get up out of there. Ones and twos, get up, get up out of there. Body, make sure you switch it up. Head, boom, boom, and then get up out of there. Ones and twos, get up out of there. All right. Uh, next thing, make the right hand count. I said that before. Make the right hand count. I don't care where you land it, Tony. It doesn't matter. Of course, we're trying to hit him in the chin or top of the temple, uh, but just make it count. Make it count. Even if it's to, to, to the body, make it count. I've seen Tony Bell, you working on his right hand, so make it count. If you're working on it, make it count. That's his best punch, in my opinion. He has to make it count. Boom, boom, boom. I don't care where you land it. Boom, 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 boom. Just make it count. Make, make it count. Switch up the attack, drop levels, try to make it count, all right? Um, so I think that's his best punch. Faint. Faint David Hay, and try to make David Hay, try to make David Hay overcommit. When David Hay wants to throw that huge right hand or that crazy a wild left hook, wide left hook, make him overcommit by using feints. I've seen uh, Tony, he has good feints. He faint against Stevenson. He was throwing good feints at Stevenson, making Stevenson think a little bit. He, he, he was moving around, feinting him, moving around, moving around, throw a little jab up there, faint again, throw feints, make David Hay think. Just don't let him come and just walk you down and start, you know, random combinations. Gotta feign him, gotta make him overcommit. You know what I mean? Probably throw the jab out there once, faint with it, move back a little bit, circle, get up off the way, use feint, you have to faint, man. 
Um, stay off the ropes. Please stay off the ropes. This is the ropes right here. Boom, you back into it. Uh-uh. Get, get up off the ropes. The, the, the ropes damn near got to be fire. You got to think of the ropes like fire rods. You know what I mean? It'll burn your back. Boom. You got to get up out of there. Well, if you are on the ropes, you can't get out either side. Grab. Wrap. Wrap them up. Let the, rape, let, let the ref break you. Boom. Get back to boxing. All right? Those are things that I think Tony Bell you can do to have success in this fight. Um, David Hay. Press bail you. Now, I'm going over what David Hay, I think David Hay can do. Press bail you. Try to make him trade. Both of these guys have been uh, cussing each other out. A lot of banter um, for the buildup of this fight. I think he should just press Tony, man. We know how David Hayes is going to come out. I'm assuming he's going to come out how he always comes out. Now, he might do this action. Because Tony Bell, you might jab at him. So, Hay may try to control his jab, you know, with the little pat down. Roy Jones was... Probably the best at doing this. Where he would a guy would be jabbing, and Roy would take his jab hand, kind of just control your jab like 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 this, just knock it down. Boom. You know what I mean? That's how David Hayes should fight him, and he should just press him, press him. How how he's gonna do it? Press him, press him. Boom. 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 Let his shots go like that. Press him, get him into a a uh, slugfest. Press him and get him into a slugfest. And pick your shots. David Hay, even though those, those two stoppages he had when he came back, I believe it was a Demori fight. Both fights. When he got those guys hurt, he did a good job of picking his shots. You know, boom, he got him hurt with a right, then he'll just stand back, pick his shots. That's what he needs to do in this fight. All right. Combinations, mix it up, try to add in some straight punches. I think David Hay should do. It. Because Tony Bellew, as they alluded to, they told uh, David Hay that he only throws wide looping shots. I think Hay is more than capable of coming down the middle. Now, Hay isn't your normal textbook guy. He doesn't fight like this. He, does, he doesn't throw these type of combinations. All right, he's more like this. He's more like that. But add a straight punch in there. Mix it up. And I think David Hay is more than capable of doing that, all right? Mix up those straight punches. Uh, Bell, he's going to be looking for hooks. All right, he's going to shield up tight. He's going to be waiting for hooks, all right? Go to the body, too. Mix it up. Cut off the ring on Tony. All right, Tony, I think, is going to take the approach he did with Stevenson, where he's moving a little bit, moving, moving, you know, trying to get out the way and move. Cut the ring off on him. Just cut it off. He's over here. He's over here. Cut it off. Just, just, just cut the ring off on him. Body shots. Wherever he go, you go. Cut off the ring. All right? Use jab as power shot, stick it in there. What I mean by that is, Hay has a tendency sometimes where, like I say, he'll fight with the lower hands, and he'll kind of just touch you. He's trying to get in punch range and really land that right hand. So sometimes he's just trying to touch you, trying to feel where you're at. Feel, feel, oh, you're in range. Boom, with the right hand. All right? So instead of being predictable doing that, I think Tony's going to be looking for that. So instead of doing that, step in with it. Don't wind up like I did, but you know, boom, boom, step in with it. Don't wind up. Just step in with it. Make it count Make and make Tony pay. Remain patient. David Hay, although he's an explosive fighter, he is a patient fighter. Even when he has guys hurt, he's still patient. Remain patient. Don't overdo it. Explode when you get close. Don't overcommit on anything. Because I think Hayes going to try to knock his head off, but don't overcommit. Especially if y'all here, do what Hayes usually does. Try to touch him. Try to, try, try to find that good range so you can land power shots. Just stay patient. Walk him down. Stay patient. All right? Those are the keys to victory. Just my opinion. I'm out.